Let's take a look how to make this live chrome effect here in Photoshop. I gotta go with this artboard size. Let's paint it black. I gotta select the type tool and type in whatever you want. Press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift plus Alt to scale it up. By the way, I went with the engraving CC bold font. Now we're gonna go and change up the color of the font and let's go and click here, type in 50%. So it's gonna be 50% gray. Let's go and double click on the font layer. Activate the bevel and emboss. We're gonna go with inner bevel, smooth, depth on a thousand, size 45, softness zero. And the angle and altitude should be somewhere here. I gotta go with these numbers. Let's go and activate the contour. Bring the contour down, the range. I gotta go somewhere around 20. Activate the inner shadow. Opacity 40. Black. Angle is 110. Distance and choke 00, zero size 13. Let's go and activate the stroke as well. Click OK. And we're gonna need to put this in a folder so you can press Ctrl G. And this is going to put it in folder automatically. I'm gonna collapse and rename text. Now you're gonna need to put it in folder because otherwise it won't work. Now we're gonna go and create a new layer, rename this as gradient. Let's select the gradient tool and make sure that you're on basic. And from here, let's go at the bottom of the artboard and press and hold Shift, stretch it all the way up. We're gonna go to the blend mode, change it to overlay, go to the adjustments, select the gradient map, and click on the gradient. And here we're gonna customize and add more handles. I'm gonna bring the white all the way here. Press and hold Alt, click. And let's go and change up the color. I'm gonna select the H. Now it's not monochrome anymore. Click OK. Press and hold Alt. I'm gonna make a blue. Click OK, bring the black somewhere in the middle, press and hold Alt again, bring the white, and I'm gonna go with another blue here, and then another one, this is gonna be perp, click OK, and then another white at the ending, click OK. And I'm gonna select the first gradient here, and here you can customize it however you like. We're also gonna need to make that anti-aliasing disappear. So I'm gonna go back to the text layer, select the letter S, press and hold Alt, bring it all the way up. To create a new copy, I'm gonna remove the bevel emboss inner shadow, double click, decrease the fill opacity, activate the stroke, put the stroke in the center, decrease it to one, make the color black, and this way the anti-aliasing disappeared. And pretty much this is it. Hope it helped and thanks for watching. See you on the next one.